Okay, the, the picture here is uh, going to be, we're going to have to do a lot of thinking about this picture. Okay. So you, clearly we've got two spheres. One of them is a sphere of radius 4 centered at 3 on the z-axis. The other one's a sphere of radius 5 um, centered at the origin. So I'm going to try to draw a picture here, but this is going to be kind of bad, really. So x, y, here's our first sphere of radius 5. So that's 5. Now the next one's centered at 3 and has radius 4. Okay, so it's going to go all the way down to negative 1 and all the way up to 7, which is about right there. So something like something like that, and I want to I want to talk about the part that is, let's see, inside of this sphere, but outside of that sphere. So very very loosely, we're talking about that part there. Is that cool? It's so inside the what sphere? It's inside the top sphere. It's okay. inside inside the one that's centered at three with radius four. Yeah, and then outside, I'm sorry? Kind of an upside down bowl, sort of, yeah. Now, before I go on to the next sort of algebraic step, I want to make an observation of something we have to worry about. Because, yeah, you're right, it's kind of an upside down bowl kind of thing, but there's all sorts of different ways you can have a, a, a sphere take a bite out of another sphere. Uh, one possible shape for this is it could look kind of, sort of, like this. Another possibility is it could look kind of, um, you know, maybe a little bit more like like that, maybe thicker. But worse, it's possible that this thing could look like this. I mean, a circle with a circle taken out of it. You know, so which is it is the problem. And I claim that the way you can tell is by thinking about where the center like if you look at this, the circle that got sort of like taken out, uh, of the other circle, see whether that center uh, is, uh, where is that center with respect to the other center? Right? So in particular then, I want to know uh, how does this center um, relate to, well, uh, let's see, how do I want to say this? Um, we want to look at where they intersect. Let me just let me just take a different point of view on it. Okay, so where do these two spheres intersect? Is that cool? Okay. So um, if you look at that point where the two spheres intersect, now of course they intersect in an entire circle going all the way around, but let's just talk about, for example, this one where y is equal to zero. I know what that length is. Claim that length is four because that it's, that's the distance from the center of this top of this top sphere out to the edge of the top sphere. So that distance is four. I also know what that distance is. That distance is from zero to three. So that distance is three. And I also know that that's a right angle. Oh, excuse me. Um, sorry. Uh, ah, I don't know that's a right angle. But I also know that this distance here is five because this is a sphere of radius 5. So that's 4 because it's a radius of a sphere of radius 4. That's 5 because it's a radius of a sphere of radius 5. That's 3 because of where the centers are. So what I have is a 3, 4, 5 triangle, and that means that I know that that's a right angle. Um, where is that, that point in relation to the... Where's what now? That, that point that you're finding, where is it? Exactly? This point here? You said it's on y equals zero, so it's on... Oh, yeah, I just, uh, I was just looking in, in this plane here, uh, in the sort of the, I meant x equals zero. Sorry, oh, yeah, I misspoke, right, right. yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Hey, I'm just looking at, just, just to kind of look at a cross section, because everything here is rotationally symmetric around the z-axis, so I'm just looking at a cross section. No, I misspoke, thanks for catching me on that. So, three, four, five, triangle, right angle, and what that means is, that, let's take another whack at drawing this. Um, the spheres intersect 
um, at a height that's equivalent to the height of the center of that of that top sphere. And so the bite that gets taken out has to be something kind of like that. And it can't wrap under because the intersection point isn't lower than that center. Does that make sense? Sorry? Yeah, no, it's a, that's right. It's a hard hard picture to draw. Yeah. And it's yeah, there's the, this is this is another one of these exercises that, you know, um, is uh, you know the swing swing two bats maybe this may be three bats right uh, before we go to go to the plate yeah isn't it true it also can't look like that bottle because the the sur the sphere on top is smaller than the, the um the let's see here is that right uh, uh not, well it can't look quite like but it could look like this. Yeah, you're right. It could it could look something like this. But the, the the reason that I care about the difference between these things is I'm going to eventually want to be able to talk about the, a projection, right? I'm going to want to take the, the the thing in question, and yeah, it's sort of an upside down bowl. I'm going to want to project it down into the x y plane, and I'm going to want to argue that I can look at the edge, I can look at where they intersect, and that where they intersect is going to define my projection, um, right? And in this case. It wouldn't be the case. Where they intersect wouldn't define the projection. It's kind of bulging out over there also. So, but so uh, yeah, no, you're right. So, yeah, this isn't really quite exactly what our primary concern is, but it's this kind of thing where, where the intersection is not the same as the projection. That would be the problem. Yeah. Yep. So all we determined was that the, the intersection points are equal to and or wider than yeah equal. that's right in other words the shape is kind of the, so the, yeah that's right the the intersection points are the edge of the projection yeah totally so having that figured out well now it's just a little bit of algebra um, to figure out what you know what this all looks like uh, so we've got on the one hand uh, x squared plus y squared plus z minus 3 squared equals 16 and we have x squared plus y squared uh, plus z squared is equal to actually we don't even need to do what am I doing we don't even need to do that I already know that this intersection that's four away from the z-axis so when I project down I'm going to get a little a circle down here of radius four. It's not a very good picture. It sticks out a little bit more over there. So the projection is a, is a disk of radius four. Is that cool? Everybody good? Okay. So, yeah, didn't need to do that at all. So, looking at that projection. Radius 4, that's into the xy plane, so my bounds, I'm going to do the dx and the dy on the outside, negative 4 to 4, a negative square root of 16 minus y squared, positive square root 16 minus y squared. And then we'll do dz on the inside, so in order to figure out these inner bounds, I've got to look at solving for z in terms of x and y in this algebra. And so, you know, again, you do the algebra, solve for z, those go here and here as per this picture. And again, you got to think about, well, wait a second, do I want the positive, do I want the negative, you know, uh, which which of the square roots in each case do I want? And so you, the picture will give, uh, give you the answer for those. Is everybody good? Okay. All right. Let's see here. Um, what am I doing?